Hey guys, this is Pilliater, and today I am talking with Amy. Hi. So, uh, Amy, according to your uh, very lewd Twitter, your uh, <laughs> pinned tweet says, My titties are small, but my heart is big. What's up with that? Um, I just thought it'd be funny to tweet that. I don't know, because you also have very strange tweets, too. Like, the Chinese are a bunch of greedy, scamming snakes. They're like the Jews, really. I think that's true. Like, that's, that, that wasn't a joke. Wait, you think that's true? Well, yeah. Wow. Can you tell me? Um, I've gotten my phone fixed by, like, this Chinese shop, and they didn't do a very good job. It's, like, kind of fucked right now. It, and then, it, like... Are you trying to pull something anti-Semitic here? Or? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, well, it's just... It, accordingly, I mean, aren't you Chinese, or...? I am. So technically you would be a Jew, if, according to that theory. But I'm, I'm one of the good ones. Okay, you're one of the good ones. Okay, I see that. But, yeah, it's, it seems that you also have, well, you have actually 200 followers. And um, according to my followers, I might have more of a cult status with my Asian Arianism because my followers are about uh, 300. But I think it's strange because, assumingly that if you say these things, you'll probably get followers unwanted followers. I mean, you've also have a, Muha a picture of this, uh, what, is that the picture of Muhammad on your Twitter? Yeah. You're not supposed <laughs> to show a picture of Muhammad. I know. You're going to get bombed. Um, <laughs> but from what I've seen, uh, other, uh, people from the alt-right are following you. What do you say yes. about that? That's cool. I mean, yeah, I talk to alt-writers. I'm in this group chat with alt-writers and I think they're pretty cool. Are you someone on that is alt-right? No, I don't think I can be. I mean, I'm not white. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I'm actually consider myself alt left. Have you ever heard of that term? Um, no. It's a it's a website. You go to www.altleft.com, and it's basically this little movement. I'm starting with uh, my friend Robert Stark and Bay Area guy and Prince of Queens and Robert Lindsay. It's basically the left wing faction of the alt right. So. Um, not to be like, I don't fetishize Hitler or anything. It's just like, I can understand where it's like, if you're non-white, you know, it doesn't mean you have to be like... Because, like, has anybody called you a... I mean, if you consider yourself a Jew, have you got hostile people calling you a Jew? Um, no. No? I haven't. But you just called yourself I mean, a Jew on... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess they know I'm on the good one. Well, you also say that black Twitter is essentially just a bunch of angry blacks making long threads about savory, sassy gifts and the laughing, crying emoji. I think that I mean, is true. That's kind of true. That sounds a little bit race realist. Yeah, a bit. Do you know about the whole like race realist, like American Renaissance or J. Philippe Rushton? Or... No. No, okay, you don't. So you're just being playful. Well, this list attracts racist people, by the way. I'm just telling you that. I mean, I know. you say y'all liberals need to stop worrying about women losing their rights. Lo, Trump loves women. That's why he grabs their pussy. <laughs> Some of these, uh, I don't know what to say on these. Um, it, it seems like you're just doing it. Are you a troll? A little bit, yeah. I just kind of want to get a reaction from people. Uh, yeah, it's been getting some reactions. I see some of my friends, like Hannah follows you and Nero follows you. And Mike Pence Anime follows. Do you follow other comedy Twitters? What would you recommend? Which is comedy on Twitter? Um, C Banks. I love C Banks. C Banks. Yeah. It's S E A like no, C Bank. Uh, C like C and then Banks. Interesting. I don't know if I'd be able to find that. Like, um, let me link it. Oh, he changed his name. Well, his username is C Banks, so I just link it. But anyway, I mean, some people on Twitter, there'll be like places, comedy on Twitter is getting popular. Like, for instance, there's the alt-right fan fiction where people say that they, you know, there's also like Homer Simpson smokes weed and it basically is these weird Twitter stories. Have you followed any of those weird Twitter fan fictions or you just follow Twitter for no. the sake of comedy? It's sake of comedy? Just for the sake of comedy. I know it's more like people usually use Snapchat nowadays, and Twitter is now just this barren wasteland of just saying whatever, and uh, <laughs> people who pin tweets are pedophiles. Okay? <laughs> 
and um, <laughs> it's a funny guy. This uh, let's see. If by no, of course I love America. We're the only country left that isn't being overrun by refugees from those places. Place. He sounds kind of political. It's a Jesus wearing a Make Get America Great Again hat. Yeah, he is a bit political. You said previously that you didn't have any political background, but you seem to be. Did you vote for Trump? I have. Yeah, I did vote for Trump. I do have a bit. I'm just saying, like, compared to alt writers, I don't think I have a, a lot of. Background. That's strange because all my other Asian friends voted Clinton, and I was the only Ew. one that voted Trump. <laughs> And I was the only really? one that no voted way. for Trump. Yeah, I voted for Trump and saw him in rally. And uh, I'm proud to say that I'm one of the only ones that will vote for Trump. And But uh, you you know about, I mean, if you're a part of the Asian American community, would you say that or would you call them a bunch of uh, niggers? A bunch of niggers. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you use alt-right language, it's like everyone you hate are Jews or niggers. And then, you know, supposedly this Aryan thing, right? What I like to say is, um, I'm an Asian Aryan. I believe that the greatest waifu of all is, an, is, uh, Asian, Asian and whites, right? They're both great waifus. And then together there'll be an Asian Aryan ethno state. And, um, that's, it'll be right next to the proposed white ethno state by Richard Spencer. You know about Richard Spencer, right? Yes. Do you hear about his whole ethno state ideal? Yeah. Well, basically, I'm saying if that's to happen, then I think uh, whites and Asians and maybe Asians and whites and Asians should have their own little ethno state, too. And I think that's through Asian Aryanism. And you did agree upon some terms. You did tweet that to me. Um, <laughs> I mean, I sort of agree, I guess. But I didn't know if you were, like, trolling or not. But you're well, actually I, 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 Look, it's like this. People shitpost... And then the esoteric Keck meme magic becomes real. And then before you know it, Donald Trump is president, right? No one saw that coming. If I go ahead and say, yeah, Asian Aryanism, it's uh, Asian male, white female, white male, Asian female, all looking out to her. And we're going to have a weeb nation and anime is going to become real. Everyone will ridicule me and call me a joke. Well, guess yeah. what? Give it 20, 30 years, you'll get the size of like smaller than Phil Chinatown, Philadelphia. And then you'll have your... Uh, it's already happened. I don't even need to argue it. I'm already in my little Asian Aryan place. Uh, Chinatown, Philadelphia. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, politics. We're having a crazy time today. Uh, do you know of uh, Sam Hyde and World Peace? No. You don't? I don't. You don't? Do you watch, I... adult, do you watch Adult Swim? No, I don't. Okay. It was, it was a funny show. That was the premier alt-right like, alt -right comedy show, World Peace, with Sam Hyde and... That was pretty funny. Sam Hyde told me, "Lo, uh, Asian Aryanism is yellow pill, pill, man. I don't know. We live in crazy times. And uh, he knows where I'm coming from because uh, in his book, uh, How to Bomb the U.S. Government, he talks about how uh, dating Asian women are, uh, he calls it, he doesn't say problematic, but he says anybody who dates Asian women are pedophiles. What the fuck? Probably, do you think that's true? I, I mean... Um, I know some Asians look really young for their age, but... <laughs> well, accordingly to the other guy, it says if you retweet your tweet, you're a pedophile. So if you retweet my my titties are small, then obviously you're a pedophile. But <laughs> I'm just saying. But other than that, I mean, you, 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 do you, do you, are you much of a gamer? Do you go on, like, Discord or whatnot? Or? I used to be a huge gamer, but now I don't really play... But you a just lot. talk you talk to your friends on like Discord or not? That yeah. Way. Okay. Or are your friends like other whites or Asians? What's the demographics? Yeah, other whites or Asians. Fascinating. So this is where this is that's the same thing I'm coming from too. I basically <laughs> all my friends are that too. Like I have three white friends, and two of them they have Chinese Jew girlfriends, and one has a, a Korean girlfriend, and we all play games on like Tuesday night, and we all talk and. Uh, it's fun. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think it's funny is that, but at the same time, they're very quiet about it. Like, shh, don't, don't tell anyone I'm dating an Asian because other people will call me a pedophile or something. <laughs> I don't know, but um, it's a weird trend, and um, I really think, like, what do you think about feminism, first of all? I think it's stupid. It's you unnecessary. Think, you do think feminism is stupid? Yeah, I think it's totally unnecessary over here. Have you met in like the US. 
have you met like a white feminist before? I actually haven't. You have not. I've never, I've never met one in your life. Are you in college at the moment? Yeah, but you there's will. not a lot of white people in my college. It's like it's very diverse here. Like Hispanics are at the same percentage as whites. Mm. Well, one of these days you're gonna have an English. It's always an English class or European history. Hey, I had social justice class. I really did have a social Why'd justice you take class. That? <laughs> because I need the credits, and I graduated. Okay, I just graduated, and uh, I mean, it's just like if you write tweets that say, "All right, fellas, my New Year's resolution is to tone down on the word nigger." You're not uh-huh. gonna survive your social justice class or any classroom with white feminists. Okay. Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, I, I'm just, I don't know. It's just, um, but the point is, do you think feminism as a whole is a disease, or do you would you would you have any sympathy with it? As a whole, like, modern feminism, like, the third wave. Mm-hmm. And even fourth. Yeah, I, I think it's a total disease. We really do not need it. And that includes other Asian women you would say not to use feminism? Yes. Now, here's something really interesting. I knew this one girl. Uh, she was another Chinese-American girl. And she told me she needed feminism because she disliked the own pa- the Confucius patriarchy. In return, she had a white boyfriend. So that's called yellow feminism. <laughs> so, exactly. What do you think about stupid. that? You think that's stupid, too? Yeah. Even when it's feminism benefiting the side of, like, that would hurt, trigger, counter-signal the white feminists, you know? Well, I, I don't know what to say on that, but I'm just saying it's like, I, do you see a trend where feminism could be like totally interpreted or is it just something they should grow out, out of? They should just grow out of. Interesting. Interesting. Are you like, like super pro Trump where you'll wear like a make America great again hat? I mean, not in public because I know a lot of people won't react to that very well, but I do have like... Um, a Trump shirt and Trump hat. So. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, if I don't have a Trump hat on me, but like, if I was to go and support Trump, there's something really weird among whites where if a non white is pro Trump, they'll get all flabbergasted and they'll start say they've been miseducated and they uh, are seeing the <laughs> wrong path. Yeah, there's this one meme online where it's like there's like this poorly drawn MS cartoon and it's. Um, some guy telling a black guy, well, um, don't, I want you to vote for Sanders, but I'm not saying you should vote for Sanders because that itself is racist, but I'm just saying you should vote for Sanders. Now I have anything against black people. You know what I'm saying? And the black person looks like a monkey. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I mean, it's just like, but, I, but the, the point is, is that it's, uh, you know, it seems to be that there seems to be like a white civil war and whites today are really divided between alt-right and liberals. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. You you say I got ninety nine problems, but a nigger ate one. <laughs> How true are yeah, these? I, I like to use that word a lot. Thank God I'm not a nigger. Here we go again with the nigger word. Um, yep. This could get you in trouble. I'm just saying. Somebody yeah, was to forward you to the dean at a school. Um. Pepe time. Okay, so you you are a believer of esoteric kek magic. Um, no, I was drunk that night, and, like, I had to pee, so I meant to spell out pee pee time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Pepe. Okay, well, there, okay, well, <laughs> do you know about Pepe the Frog? Yeah, I do. Okay, but it just has no, it's just pee pee. All right, then it's P-E-E, P-E-E, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> interesting. Okay, well, you did say you want to, uh, use a bath right now, okay. And okay, there's this one picture. It says I'm scared. It shows this weird <laughs> Korea communist guy, and it says communism will win. It's this weird yeah, guy guy's, with a hat. That guy's a freak, he's a traitor. <laughs> so, yeah, it, he told me he grew up in the U.S. and now he's like <laughs> living in Korea, and he loves Korea because he's a communist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, is he like a white Slavic guy or some? I don't know. I think. I mean, he looks white. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's like that's funny. I mean, just communism will win. Did you tell him you were like some fascist or? No. <laughs> oh. I just like I was nice towards him. Mm mm mm. Uh, interesting. Okay. 
So, but other than that, what I'm getting is that there is some popularity with, especially that if you're on Twitter and you say certain things, you do get uh, attention. Do you, are you actually one of those attention whores? Um, not in a bad way. I don't think I like to like make people angry or get a, yeah, get like angry responses. I don't really like. Because it seems to me you just can't don't talk you, right now. you just don't like black people, right? Oh no, not really. I don't think I'm racist. I mean, I'm a little boyfriend? bit racist. You have a black boyfriend? No, because they're really ugly. I don't think it takes. Hey, I knew this one girl. Um, I, her name was I won't say her name, and she just told me. She said, "As much as I like white guys being nice, I just wish they were more aggressive." And right now, I think this this one guy. Um, he was a black guy. I just think he's very nice and he's aggressive and he's kind. But then uh, a few days later after their th- th- three-year relationship, they broke up. But she definitely had a uh, black relationship or at least some kind of – and so well, I often joke around with Asian Aryanism when my friends go, hey, could there be an Afro-Asianism? I guess if they can, if they can make their institutions happen. But it seems to me right now the black culture seems, you know, nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> that's true interesting but like i said like i i've been saying is that uh oh look you even retweeted the the face alaska about Brittany herring and who did the 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 guy when he beat up the the white the poor white guy in chicago as if you're fighting for white civil rights oh yeah that so you do fight for white civil rights i mean yeah interesting I mean... so you are an asian Aryan. you never told me I don't know. I don't know if I call myself that. I mean, if you have, like, if you like white people and you're right for white interests and anti-social justice warrior culture, I mean, where's the fine line between your own, uh, the Chinese background and your white friends? Would you say you're Chinese American? No, I just, I think of myself as an American. Interesting. Interesting. It's, what do you, what was your thoughts on equality? Equality, like... What do you mean, like? Like, cause, like, if it's if you're if everyone's an American, then supposedly Mr. Tyrone can be an American too. He just has to act think, like it. I think so too. Yeah, I think <laughs> black people can have equal rights too. Do you just gotta whitewash them and turn them and be like Tom Soul and make them white? Yes. <laughs> so that's that's you know that's a little problematic. That sounds a little racist, but um, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying that this is what some of the black. Uh, and here, here you are. You have always lots of drinks too. You have just drinks. You just drink all the time. You oh. Just drink. And have, have it was fun. just. It was just that one day. I don't drink very often. Well, you seem like a a, a nice person that other uh, bro whites would like. I'm just saying out there. Thanks. Do you know who? Do you know about Gavin McGinnis? McGinnis. Yes. Isn't he like a rebel media? Yeah. Is that him? Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's like he's anti. All right, yeah, right? You, you remind me of someone like Gavin or uh, really? Jim Goad, and you would probably fit in with that crowd. Maybe you should start watching Rebel Media. I I don't know. I do watch it. them. Yeah, yeah. It seems like you fit really in that crowd, and uh, it's 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 interesting that there's um, it's definitely a punk culture. You you don't consider your yourself punk, right? You just consider no. yourself trolling. Yeah. Like a like a big troll. I think there is some overlap between the punk and the troll aspect. Oh, here we go. There's a sign. You retweeted. There's a sign. It says, Truth Ministry. Are you Asian and don't want to be? There's hope for change. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. <laughs> what, you don't want to be Asian? What are you, an anti-Asian? You have Asian <laughs> no. privilege? I'm okay with being Asian. That's what I'm saying. And I'm, I'm the same way, too. And look, if there's any triggering word, it's the word Aryan. And people get, like, upset. They think, like, blonde hair, blue eye, like, Nazi soldier, right? If you say right. Asian Aryan... You're all like, wait, that's that's an oxymoron. Asians can't be Aryan. I'm like, yeah, they can. They could be both. They could be like both white and Asian, and it's a it's a it's a symbiotic thing. Happen with the whole, uh, and that's why I use it. it. It's a fun thing. It's it's whimsical, and I'm also, hey, look, if you're on the alt right or like alt left, and you basically have an Asian girlfriend or boyfriend, like who cares? Just like be trolly trolly about it and be like overcome it. I think, I think I'm gonna be honest with you. I think other white weebs might follow you because they see hope in you because of that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I do have white weebs following me. 
exactly. I'm saying if white weebs follow you and you do stuff like that, then, you know. But uh, to wrap things up... Um, oh, it's been 20 minutes already. Okay. Yeah, but to wrap things up, uh, what do you think about this whole multicultural and diverse paradigm? Do you think it's necessary or is America going to evolve overcome that and we're just going to be all race realists and have developed this new identity thing um i don't really like diversity like too much of it honestly like i go to a very diverse college and i just i don't like the whole environment i feel like it's sort of divisive like people hang out with their own race and i just really feel there's no need for diversity That's maybe a little bit but not like a whole lot because it's kind of ridiculous where i go to school at that's funny because you say that diversity means separation. Would you want like that? That's because it's like you would think diversity means togetherness, and yet yeah. people go to their room and uh, giving me the fact that people are better once you're in the American environment. And if whites or Asians or even blacks were to congregate together, there would be much more harmony with one another. Right, but it's I think it's actually the opposite of that. Interesting. So maybe some kind of, you know, you know, private, you know, certain people flock together, right? If you have, yeah, that's true. What if you have like black people who act more white or Oreos? Oreos hang out with one another, and you have like the most white liberals. Most white liberals hang out, and I Agreed. think together. Hey, you know what? I'm in an environment, like I just said this, that all these whites and Asians and like geeky whites and whites who have Asian girlfriends just hang out together. That's what we do, and um, I'm actually a part of that scene. It's certainly. I call it the – I was in Asian studies for a bit. I call it the Asian studies scene. Some say it's Asian American, but I think it's a mix between the two, and that's what I've been examining. So, yeah. But uh, I'll end with one more tweet that I can find. I think okay. it should uh... – okay. You wrote – okay, I'm looking at these tweets, and you just, like, tweeted, like, still alive, bitch. Face is burning. Be right back. Got to piss. So, okay, <laughs> fucking God. And They're all tweet. our favorite. Okay. Let yeah. Me, and then you, here we go. Big nigger, 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 nigger. And then <laughs> this is my friend, Rot Beer. All you do is you get drunk and write nigger. All right. I don't know. I don't know what's the popularity between that. But uh, maybe we should have a, a, a future podcast about what uh, beer or alcohol is good for you. I mean, you probably <laughs> are an aficionado of that by now. I don't drink often. I really don't. Oh, you really don't? Yeah, I really don't. It was just, this was all in one day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, it's nice talking to you, uh, Amy, and hopefully I'll have Thank you too. on next time. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.